Go be female, sorry, I'm not one, but sorry. I take it by the, the round of applause we're getting that you're really enjoying yourself here tonight. We hope you do. We put an awful lot of uh, work into this. We had one hour last night and one hour last Tuesday night, and that was about two hours altogether. That's as much work as I would do in a week. <laughs> Actually, it's great to say, you can't see anybody down there at all because the lights are bright and it's powerful altogether. Now, we're going to go away from the singing for a little while and. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> This is really like MWCR, or anything at all can happen. Uh, a little comedy sketch for you for three boys, I'm sure you're all very, uh, you all know very, very well. Hacky Bradley, I think you know him vaguely anyway. Joe Grant and Eddie Murphy. Uh, they're going to put on a little comedy sketch for us. And it's, all, it's called The Legacy. And it's about an old bachelor. And I can't see any down there tonight, and it's killing me. So an old bachelor, if you can imagine an old bachelor living in Packy's kitchen, we'll put it like that. And the visitor comes along one day, just casual visit for a bit of gossip and a little chat and a bottle of Guinness or whatever's going. And uh, there's a surprise in it and I don't think I'll tell you any more about it. I let the boys. So I'm going to present uh, Eddie Murphy, Packy Bradley and Joe Grant in our comedy sketch tonight. It's called the legacy. I'm a video glasses, but I don't see that. You need to get glasses. 
Glasses Unit. To him it may concern that uh, Anna Porter and Rose McGlitchie O'Doherty, both from Castle Avenue, are available.
my chief beneficiaries. But you know, look, listen you to me. There's something wrong here. So that's not for you at all. My name and address is an envelope. I know what's your name, but many of got a letter with the wrong name, right? Yeah. But with my name and address, I'm sure it must be for me. Well, I don't know. It's not a rock white. And down here it says, Mr. Alex Doodle will have the pleasure of calling on you both. Now, wait a minute, she we know it's all wrong. You have no white criminals. No, you never had. I mean, they should be your number one. <laughs> That's for me, isn't it? That's for you. My name and address is Mr. Mr. Alex Doodle will have the pleasure of calling on you both on the 16th of March. It is seven. <coughs> oh, where did it go? A custody, so it has. A custody, surely. And it says to give you details of the inheritance. Well, so wait a minute now, and I'll tell you. There's some of the terrible wrong here. This is for somebody else. No. The, 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 the wrong name's under something. No. Sir, a white primrose. May I go with you to bring a white primrose? That's for me, Harry. That's for me. The postman will have to be here, and it's for me, so it may. I know we'll have to be here. Many of us stick the postman bit. When you hurry. Many of the postman has on the handful of letters. When you hurry, no. you're coming away, man. I tell you something. You know nothing at all about. No, nobody in this town knows nothing at all about. Well, tell me. For God knows, we have wife for news. <laughs> Come on, out to the story. Wait. From Rock's deep. As you know. I know. When my wee Uncle Wallet was getting on in years, he used to write to me now and again, you know. Aye, aye, aye. Listen, he always told me never to end up with him. He wanted me to get married, you see. Aye, fair. Wise enough. Well, that was wise enough, I suppose. But I can't tell sorry for him telling me this every back of it. And the court didn't I write to him and I told him that I was married. Come on, you tell him that I did. And I told him that her name was Primrose. <coughs> and every couple of months or so, he writes and he sends a fiver. To you, Primrose. Oh. A fiver each. Oh. And a cow fiver. <laughs> well, so it's near enough. And now the wee man's dead. Yes. And the Scotchman, he's coming to see me in a Primrose. I said, there is no Primrose. Oh, 
No bother at all now. I just come over on the ferry this morning for the car with me and drove up from Larne and straight on to Bunkrana. Did you see all the holes coming on to Bunkrana, did you? Well, I must say now you have a terrible lot of butt holes. What? There are no roads left for butt holes. <laughs> well, I trust your wife will not be very long. No, no, she will not be long, Mr. Duke. She will not be long at all, no. You have a lovely little dwelling here. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind going for a wee spot. 